So this device can detect your voice commands offline without any internet connectivity. <laughs> Let me show you a quick demo. Hey pudding. Yes, I'm here. Turn on the light. Okay, turn on the light. Warm light turn on. Okay, warm light turn off. Turn off the light. Okay, turn off the light. Warm light turn off. Okay, warm light turn off. See you. See so this later. is the GRU offline voice recognition board which is based on AI Thinker VC02 module which is dedicatedly made for offline voice recognition and can store up to 150 voice commands in it which is amazing. And here we can also connect the external microcontroller boards like the ESP32 board or the Arduino boards via URD communication and can control anything that we want. And that's kind of agenda of today's video so now let me show you how to do that after a short ad. This video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer based software company. Now LTM is not just another PCB designing software rather it's a world class and award winning PCB designing tool that has some features like advanced interactive routing with auto completion, any angle routing bus routing, face and length tuning, follow me more and much more which makes it an ideal choice for PCB designing by a lot of companies. Along with this they do also have LTM 365 that not just covers the PCB designing part but also helps with design sharing via web, sharing designs to mechanical team for product design, centralized cloud storage and a lot more. And along with all this, they do have a very useful search engine made just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart, you can search for any components and you would be able to compare its price and availability around the globe. Not only that, you can also get the details about the components like its specifications and data sheet all at one single place. So LTM provides everything to make your production task a lot easier. So do try out all the services right now as you'll be getting a free trial version by just clicking the link mentioned in the description. Happy making! So that's how you'll receive the product in the traditional Seed Studio bag. Now let's open it up. So inside this we get the actual board that has the VC02 module on it along with the microphone, a groove connector and the JST connector for external speaker. Then we get a connecting wire and a speaker along with the product and that's the complete unboxing of it. And now let's move ahead and interface it with the Arduino Uno board. So here we'll make the connection of our Arduino board and the VC02 board according to this connection diagram. So after doing the connection we'll go to this wiki page of GRU offline voice recognition by Seed Studio and here we need to install one library whose link is provided in the article itself so just click here and it will open up github repository page here you just need to click on code and just click on download zip button after that i'll go back to my arduino id and here i'll go to sketch into include library into add zip library here just search for the library that you have just downloaded and just click on the choose button now as i already installed the library showing me the error but in your case it will get installed successfully now i can go to files into examples then into seed studio groove offline voice recognition and here is only one simple sketch i'll click on this this maximize this window okay so now here as i have connected the rxtx pin of uh, vc02 with my arduino at the pin 10 and 11 so i'll just change it to 10 and 11 and that's pretty much it that's the only change you need to do in this code and then later you can select the right board which is arduino uno right com port which is here and just hit the upload button so here now I'll open the serial monitor and let's just try to test this board out. Now here this board already got a firmware in it which already has some of the voice commands and to know what are those voice commands well you can go again to the wiki page of the Seed Studio website and here when you scroll down here you'll get a PDF documentation which says offline voice commands and here are a list of all the commands that are currently built in in this firmware so let's just test it out one by one so first to wake up the command is this so let's just open the serial monitor and let's test hey pudding yes, okay so as you can see it got wake up and i got the response here in the serial monitor and to make it sleep i can say goodbye see you later okay it worked and see you later got printed on the serial monitor as well so similarly there are a lot of commands that you can uh, speak after waking up this device and it will you know print all the necessary strings onto the serial monitor basically it is printing the hex command first of all and later using this groove offline sensor library those hex commands are turned into the string format and that's why we are able to see the string in the serial monitor so here let's test out a couple of commands and see how quick it responds Hey Pudding. Hi, how can I help? Match the air conditioner. Okay, match the air conditioner. Dry mode. Okay, dry mode. 21 centigrade. Okay, 
Okay, turn on the light. Warm light turn off. Okay, warm light turn off. See you. See you later. Well, the response is amazing. It's almost instantaneous. So as soon as you you know complete the command. It already recognized it and it starts working on that command. So it's pretty fast. And here some of the command can also control the LEDs onto this VC02 board. Let me show you quickly. Hey Pudding. Yes, I'm here. Turn off the light. Okay, turn off the light. Turn on the light. Okay, turn on the light. As you can see, this light can be controlled with this module itself because this module not only recognizes the voice, but it also has the built-in GPIO pins on which this LED is connected. And that's how we can See control it. And after some timeout period, if we don't say any command, it automatically goes to the sleep mode. And now it will wait for the wake up command to perform the next operations. Hey Pudding. Yes, it's Wa here. Warm light turn off. Okay, warm light turn off. Turn off the light. Okay, turn off the light. Warm light turn on. Okay, warm light turn off. Turn on the light. Okay, turn on the light. This is amazing. And also we have a wake up button here. So let's just make it sleep. See you. See you later. And if I click this button. Hi. Hi. What's up? Turn off the light. Okay. Turn off the light. So we can wake up with this physical button as well. So that is all about how to use the built-in commands and how to turn on and off the built-in LEDs. But how we can control other appliances like how we can control the relays using this well let me show you the process of that like how we can compare the command received to the arduino board and control the gpio pins of arduino uno let me show you that process now so whatever is printed on the serial monitor it's first stored in this string called as response so if you want to perform any task we just need to compare this response uh, string with our particular command so first i'll put a condition as response is equal to is equal to let's compare first of all the uh, wake up statement uh, hey pudding hi how can i help so as soon as it's wake up uh, it will print this so i'll just compare if the response is this just print on the serial monitor as hi sachin and also turn on the led at pin 13 and here i'll just declare the pin mode 13 as output perfect and in case the response is of see you later which is this i'll just say bye sachin and just lower it down let's upload this code and see if it works or not okay so the code is uploaded let me just turn on the smartphone's recording okay so right now as you can see the 13 pin number led is turned off so let's just try it out hey pudding hi how can i help so as you can see the led on pin 13 turned on and on the serial monitor we got the response as hi sachin let's just say see you see you later Okay, the pin 13 already turned off and we can see by searching on the serial monitor. So that's how you can compare the command and do whatever you want. So now what I'll do is I'll write a simple line of code to control a couple of relays connected with the Arduino Uno board with the offline voice commands. Let me show you the demo for that. So here I made a simple code for controlling two output, which is two bulbs. And I'm using the command for like turn on the light and turn on the warm light. Let me show you a demo. Hey Pudding. Hi, what's up? Turn on the light. Okay, turn on the light. Warm light turn on. Okay, warm light turn on. Okay, so it's working. And now let's see what is the range of this microphone like from how far I can give the command. Let me show you. Hey Pudding. Hi, how can I help? Turn off the light. Okay, turn off the light. Warm light turn off. Okay, warm light turn off. See you. See you later. Hey Pudding. Turn on the light. Okay, turn on the light. See you. See you later. Hey pudding. Hi, how can I help? Warm light turn on. Okay, warm light turn on. See you. See you later. Hey pudding. Hey pudding. Hey pudding. Hi, how can I help? Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Okay, turn off the light. See you. See you later. Hey pudding. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Okay, turn on the light. See you. See you later. Hey pudding. Hey pudding. Hi, warm light turn off. Okay, warm light turn off. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Okay, turn on the light. See you. See you later. Hey pudding. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. 
टर्न ऑन द लाइट वॉर्म लाइट टर्न ऑन हेलो पुडिंग हेलो पुडिंग so it was successfully able to detect my voice up to 24 feet distant which is kind of enough if you want to control the appliances in the room while sitting inside the room itself and that's how you can use this offline voice recognition module to control anything offline without any internet connectivity and here i am giving away this board to one of the lucky subscriber and to participate in this giveaway the steps are really very simple first you need to definitely like this video because hey come on this is really amazing second you need to comment down this video about what will you be making like what project will you be making if you get this offline voice recognition module and third step is you need to be a subscriber of techie sms which i am sure you definitely are so those are the three simple steps to participate in the giveaway and we'll be selecting a random subscriber from the comment section and we'll be announcing the giveaway results on next sunday on our instagram account so make sure you follow us on instagram as well to see who wins the contest and now if you genuinely think this video was good and worth watching well definitely share it with your electronics and iot enthusiast friend and let them know about about this new and amazing board because you know sharing is caring so now let's discuss about what's the next step well uh, first of all as i said in the beginning that this board can store up to 150 voice commands and as i showed that pdf list well that is not exactly 150 commands so what's the catch here well uh, the catch is here you can build your own custom firmware that has your own custom voice commands in it and you can store those uh, uh, voice commands up to 150 words so yes you you can customize the wake up command you can customize the uh, giving like command a voice commands for controlling the lights fan and anything you can customize everything that you want and how to do that well that is kind of a topic or content for our next video so make sure to subscribe the channel if you want to learn how to customize this voice command to make it more usable for you and yeah now i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video until then explore learn share with me techie sms